Should you be selling your home with tenants inside? Let's talk about it on this week's Q&A. Hey everybody, welcome back. Thank you so much for tuning in. I wanna talk a little bit about whether or not you should be selling your home when you have tenants inside. Um, and I think the answer depends on the scenario you're in. So let's say scenario number one, you live upstairs and your tenants are in the basement. Nine times out of 10, I'm gonna say it's better not to have the tenants in the home because if you have tenants there, that obviously that means that the new owners have to assume the tenants and maybe only a small percentage of people actually wanna have tenants in their home. So although it might work to their advantage for some, most people don't want them there. So it will affect the value of the property for sure. And it is a bit neighborhood uh, specific by the way, but in most cases people want to know that a tenant can be there, but they're not actually there. Because let's face it also, how many tenants are actually paying current market value, which is the other problem. T uh, scenario number two would be, you've got maybe a duplex or a triplex, but it's fully tenanted. In that case, I would say, yeah, it's better to um, sell the property with tenants in it if it's specifically used for an investment property and it's obvious. You do run into trouble though, if the property is not renovated and the tenants again are not paying current market value. So if that's the case, then it's not good to sell them uh, the property with the tenants in it because you know, you're not going to get as much money as you would if the tenants are uh, paying current market value. And of course, if the property looks and shows really well, I'm sorry to say this, but most of the time when we try to sell a property with tenants in it, they don't take care of the home the same way you might if you're selling it. There are exceptions, obviously. Um, so for most people, my advice is always better to not have tenants there when you're ready to sell, get it painted, get it staged, get it renovated, get the most money you can for the property, make sure that any potential buyers know that tenants can go there and how much they would be paying if they were there. Uh, but if you want to make sure that you get the most for your money, that's what I would do. That would be my advice. So hopefully that's been helpful. Uh, we're always here if you have any questions, of course, just reach out. And in the meantime, make sure you're following us on our podcast, which is the Toronto Real Estate Show with Janelle and Leslie. You can find that on Apple or Spotify or actually wherever you get your podcasts. And um, if you have questions at any time, just reach out and please make sure you are following us or subscribed. Have a great day.